In 2014, drones entered our lives in a big way with the DJI Phantom and many other high-end aerial cameras. But before you drop nearly a grand on one of these semi-professional drones, you want something that is going to be able to withstand the damage a first-time flyer will incur. You want something that is going to help you learn the basics of flying a potentially hazardous piece of equipment in public places. But most of all, you want something that is not going to break the bank. This is where Parrot comes in, or in this case, a spider. Parrot, the company that became famous for iPhone-controlled drones back in 2010, has always been looking to expand their product line. Last year, they released two new mini drones. One, the Jumping Sumo, which I reviewed, was not a flying drone at all. The only time it would be airborne was during jumps. The other was the Rolling Spider. The Rolling Spider comes in at $100, which makes it a relatively cheap investment if you are looking to practice for the larger drones. The name makes it pretty self-explanatory of what it does. It comes with two giant wheels that allow the drone to roll around on the ceiling and up walls. I'm still trying to master this. This basically makes it a bicycle with training wheels for people who have never flown a drone before. I have had this fall out of the sky, run into walls, and the wheels have saved it from possible catastrophic damage. The Rolling Spider has a sensor on the bottom so it can keep its place while hovering in autopilot, and inside it holds pretty well, but a slight breeze will have it going all over the place outside. There's also a camera on the bottom, but it's the kind of quality you would expect from a flip phone in 2005. It also comes with some cool stickers that you can use to personalize your Rolling Spider. And like the Jumping Sumo, there isn't a remote control included. You download the app onto your smartphone or tablet and control the Rolling Spider over a low-powered Bluetooth. And I have to say, control through my iPhone felt pretty solid. But you still have to be in range. You can fly it at speeds up to 11 miles an hour, which is faster than you may think. It has a range of about 66 feet before the connection starts doing weird things. It also has those cool tricks that you would find in a jumping sumo such as flipping, spinning in the air, and all that great stuff. I personally find all of these tricks work better without the wheels. And that brings me to another point about this drone. The battery life isn't that great to begin with. You get about 8 minutes total and you can watch it just be destroyed the minute you take off. But that battery life will go from 8 minutes to 6 minutes with the added weight of those wheels. And it is a difference you can notice when you take off and it seems like no time at all until you get the low battery alert. So if you're looking to make a purchase of the Rolling Spider, get a second battery. I found myself explaining why I was reviewing this product to my family a lot like how I explained the reason for reviewing the Jumping Sumo to everyone I knew at college. It's a really fun toy for geeks and deserves a critical viewpoint to see if it's worth it. But the Rolling Spider was much more than just another toy to have fun with or annoy your roommates with. It is really about having a place to train if you want to go further and learn more about professional drones. I could definitely see myself getting a DJI Phantom one day and practicing with the Rolling Spire to help me get there without destroying thousands of dollars worth of equipment. As a standalone product, the Rolling Spider is entertaining. I call it an RC car that flies because that is exactly what it feels like. If you want the joy of a drone without the massive price tag that comes with it, the Rolling Spider is a great way to pilot your heart out. Just make sure you have plenty of batteries on hand.